How are you out there? This is John Wayne McCure, the Sonneteer, from beautiful Chandler, Arizona. And I always start out that way, because Chandler's nice. You'd love it here. And I wrote this sonnet uh, 14 years ago. The sonnet number 188. And I look at her picture and I just think, there can be only one. And that's the name of this sonnet. There can be only one. It's written, there can be only one. When God, one soulmate, Nancy Widger, the light of my life. The first time I ever saw you, Nancy Widger, I was thunderstruck, mesmerized, hypnotized. The burst of promised paradise dancing right before my enamored eyes. You had on a snow white dress, a lovely smile, gorgeous eyes above all others. To know instantly that you were the only one. You were the one. I knew it. The first second I saw you, there would never ever be another. That you would love me, allowing me early entrance into the Garden of Eden. Yeah, yeah. True love enveloped me, entranced me. My angel sent to me from heaven, from the beginning of eternity. There can be only one true love. Some lucky lovers find that special someone created from above their soulmate. To be accepted, they accepted me into a wonderful family that welcomed me lovingly. See family togetherness, tender closeness, expressed adoringly. To have the indescribable privilege of knowing your father dear, Captain James Leo Widger, a hero in combat in North Africa against the Germans in charge of 200 lives. Your father, my hero. Do any other human beings know such great men when they do appear? I knew it. I knew how great he was. He had his ears blown out because of the artillery. But he was a fabulous man. He was my father-in-law. I bet I took him fishing a hundred times and I was honored to do it. It was my privilege. It made him so happy. Your sweet mother, she was always helping us, loving us, embracing lonely me. I'll tell you what, Captain James Leo Widger said his wife looked like Betty Grable, the movie star, and everybody else said that too. She was gorgeous. Well, Captain James Leo and uh, Lucella Rose, Hamlin Widger, they were there for us in our times of struggle. The best mother-in-law she could be. And a lot of guys hate their mother-in-law. I don't get that, man. That's your wife's mother. Of course she wants the best for her daughter. What do you think she expects? She expects you to provide honorably, with dignity, with courage, and not whine and growl all the time because you don't have this and you don't have that and the, the cooking isn't done right. Well, cook your own damn dinner. So many family dinners. I think about them and it, the memories are really... It, it's ecstasy to think about the good times we had. Family dinners, family picnics, fishing excursions, idyllically. Everybody there, everybody having fun, laughing, singing. Oh, and the... the uh, I'll tell you, the, the barbecue and the roasted trout, oh my gosh. To really know what happiness is and family love was truly meant to be. Nancy Widger, you are the mother of two spectacularly wonderful, lovely girls. True motherhood, sparkle in your eyes, exalted Elysian worlds, heavenly worlds. Nancy Widger, you are my pride and my passion, my heart and my eternal soulmate. Blue skies and cloudless golden sunshine, blissful ecstasy, great. Love, 
The only thing about all other addictions that God could invent that got me. I was addicted to Nancy Widger. I tell anybody that. There's nobody like her and never will be. She was one of a kind. Buzet no lotra. Nancy Widger and no other. The beloved melody of Nancy Widger's sweet voice, enchantingly heaven sent. Poets have written to know true love even for one single day. They know love very well. That true love endures, that it's worth it. True love is enduring is worth it. It's impossible to slay love. It's always there. Now, I'm an old man. Got a bad heart. But I'm still here. I had heart surgery 18 years ago that didn't work. But I'm still here by the grace of God, my hero. Now my life is slipping rapidly away before my eyes with advancing years. Somehow dearest memories awaken anew, overwhelming any tears. The greatest honor of my precious life was to hold you, Nancy Widger, tight. The test of time to love only you with all of my soul's might. Nothing mattered but you. Only you, always you, eternally you, dreaming of only you, beautiful you, my lovely queen so true, blessing me with paradise, heaven on earth. God bless you, Nancy Widger. There can be only one, Nancy, the name of this son, and there can be only one. I hope you find your own soulmate because you have to understand you only get one and if you screw that up when they stop loving you that's it and I guess I screwed it up I had 20 wonderful years with her but I guess I wasn't worthy and I'm willing to admit it she was a goddess and I just miss her to this very day every day I think about her and I'm not gonna try to forget I don't want to forget it how do you forget a goddess, a great mother, beautiful, just beautiful. And I hope you guys out there, you find one that will be your soulmate. Because she's there. But once you got her, you better be nice. Better bring her presents. Better help her with the laundry and the cooking. And, and help her. It says in the Bible, apocrypha. What a word, apocrypha. It says, talking to men. God's talking. He's talking to you. He said, Know you not that women have dominion over you? Do you not work and toil and slave and bring and offer and give everything to the woman? Exactly. And if you're an idiot, you don't do that. You want to sit on a couch and drink beer and talk with your buddies and forget the goddess that's with you. You've got to understand, you give everything to the woman. That's the one who prides you of a good home, is a good mother, is a good loving wife. That is always there for you when you need her. Through sickness and sorrow, man. And I'm hoping that you find what I found. Please, God, help those guys out there. They're looking, they're spreading their seed everywhere like dogs. That's wrong. Those are other people's daughters. Don't you understand that? You want somebody doing that to your own daughter? To your own sister? To your own mother? Get a grip. There can only be one. John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteur. Thank you for listening. God bless us, everyone.